Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So, first off, I apologize for the audio issues. I think I got that pretty well straightened out now. And let's get moving on. Let's try to finish this bed up in this video. I have the lumber here for the rails. Each one has its own bit of defects and whatnot. This one's got a big knot right here. Um, but I have enough material here to get my five inch rail out of. So I should be okay there. Um, this one has some defects on the underside. But again, I think if I pull from this side, I can certainly get my five inches out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and, and rub these out and then we'll get them flat and get them sanded up. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use my track saw to break these down. I've pulled the insert out of my table so I have a clear path for the blade. And we're just going to go ahead and straight, straight line rip this. And then we'll clean up the other side and take care of that. Okay, so there they are rough milled. They're all a little bit oversized. Um, they're still probably close to a half inch wide. Um, and I could really take the thickness anywhere I want. Um, but I'm gonna leave them sit there for, oh, at least a day, maybe two. And just to make sure that nothing weird happens. They don't twist, they don't cup, they don't bow, you know, whatever. Cause it would be kinda, kinda bad to have the bed all in place and then have those pieces move. So those are rough milled and they're going to sit for a day or two. Okay, so while I'm giving the rails some time to rest and do what they're going to do, I picked up a stash of ash and we're going to start making all the slat material. So I'll just cut them to rough lengths um, and then get them flat and then we'll rip everything to width. So there's all the slats milled up. We still got to go ahead and pilot drill for the holes and do a little sanding and whatnot, but I can't do that until I cut them to final length. And I won't do that until the rails are done and I get an exact measurement of what I need. All right, so the rails held up really well. They really did not move at all. So super happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get them cut to their final size, uh, get a little light sanding on them and then we'll get the hardware mounted.
Okay, so I've got these all flushed up to the bottom. I got it clamped in place. I've already driven the first screw. I just use a Vix bit to locate my pilot. And then drive, in this case, a temporary screw because I'm gonna replace all this hardware after I paint this black. And rinse and repeat. Okay, so while I've got the, the rail up on the bench, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the strip for the slats. And again, it goes flush with the bottom. Now this one, this one warped on me a bit, um, but it's okay, it, it, it flexes out just fine. So I'm just gonna hold it down with glue and then I will come back later and I'll add some screws in here just for some extra protection, but the glue is gonna do the bulk of the work. Okay, we'll just let that cure up while I do the other one. And then uh, next up, we will get after the hardware on the headboard while these cure up. Okay, mounting the bedside hardware is fairly similar. Um, these are gonna be flush with the inside of this bed. And I'm gonna use the Vix bit again. As soon as I get her lined up, and give me a good start. Make sure I'm flush. Make sure we're square. Okay, I'm gonna mark the other two holes. But I'm not gonna drive any screws there yet. And then I wanna mark the outline of this whole thing. And we'll get out the trim router and we'll recess that in so it fits flush. I made a a little template of one. Now, obviously this is set up for the other side, but you can see we have that gap right there. So if we recess this in, then this leg will fit flush up there, just like it's supposed to. Okay, so I'm afraid my shop's just not big enough for a queen size bed and a good video picture of it at the same time. So I'll show you both ends. Um, and while I have it dry fit like this, this is a good opportunity for me to get a measurement for the slats that go in it um, before I pull it all back apart and get it ready for finish. Let me show you the other end. Okay, so there's the other end of the bed just so you can see it. Slats will be up next. Okay, so the slats are all just set in. Um, next up, we've got to drill and countersink them and get our pilots in those rails. When I pull it apart for finish, that's when I'll go ahead and put some screws in those slat supports as well. But we're getting close now. Okay, so I set a five inch, I cut a five inch block that I'm using as my spacer. Setting it in and pilot drilling into the slat support. And again, I'm driving just temporary screws here because I have replacement screws for these. Rinse and repeat till they're all in. Okay, well like I said, this thing's too big for my shop. I had to move my joiner and do all kinds of things just to kind of get it to squeeze in there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the shop set up to shoot finish and pull this all apart. I will uh, 
go ahead and drive the screws in the slat rails when I do so. Okay, again, just temporary screws. For now. I'm just blocking out with 400 or 600 between coats. Get rid of any dust nibs that might be there. Give it that super smooth feel that we're looking for. Well, there it is guys all in its final home got a quilt that my wife made on it um, sitting next to the uh, shaker tables and the chest of drawers is in this room as well so turned out super neat shout out to uh, Mel Morris for a cool design and Glacier Hardwoods where I get all my lumber hope you guys enjoyed the build and till next time take care guys